Welcome to our August 22nd, 2024 construction update on the Gordie Howe International Bridge Project. Let's dive into the latest developments on this monumental infrastructure endeavor connecting Detroit, Michigan and Windsor, Ontario. The Gordie Howe Bridge is making significant strides with the bridge deck now complete. Crews are focusing on the final touches. Teams are working on implementing essential hazard systems, including electrical and fire suppression mechanisms. The drainage systems are also being installed to ensure the bridge can withstand various weather conditions. As we can see, crews are working on the preparation to connect the bridge and road deck, as well as the road deck with the plaza infrastructure. It's exciting to watch the progress. Barrier installation is underway and signage is being strategically placed along the bridge. Lighting fixtures are being mounted to ensure the safe travel during nighttime hours. The deck is being prepared for paving with pavement markings to follow shortly after. Like and subscribe. It really helps. Another great tool to increase reach is the use of hashtags like Gordy Howe Bridge, International Infrastructure, and Detroit Windsor Connection in your comments and shares. It helps keep videos like this coming. Thanks. The Canadian Plaza, covering approximately 53 hectares, is progressing well. The toll booth area is nearing completion and landscaping work has begun around the main buildings. The bridge is expected to enhance the region's long-term economic prospects by supporting the automotive industry's transition and integration, attracting investment in emerging technologies and improving the area's appeal to skilled workers and young professionals. By creating a more reliable and resilient border crossing, 
The Gordie Howe International Bridge is anticipated to induce investments in both Canada and the United States, expanding the economic base of southeastern Michigan and southwestern Ontario. Did you know that the Gordie Howe International Bridge will be among the top five longest bridges in North America once completed? Its clear span of 853 meters, that's over half a mile, makes it the longest main span of any cable stayed bridge on the continent. One exciting feature of the bridge is the multi-use path that will allow cyclists and pedestrians to cross the international border. Workers are currently laying the groundwork for this path, which will be part of the Trans-Canada Trail System. On the American side, the U.S. Plaza construction crews are making headway on completing the concrete work for the Interstate 75 ramps. The U.S. Port of Entry facilities are also taking shape, with the main buildings now visible from a distance. While the project has generally received positive feedback, some local businesses in Detroit have expressed concerns about the potential impact on traffic patterns once the bridge opens. The project team has been actively engaging with these stakeholders to address their concerns and find mutually beneficial solutions. The Canadian government recently announced additional funding for community benefits in Windsor, emphasizing their commitment to the project's positive impact on local communities. Meanwhile, the U.S. government has reaffirmed its support for the project, highlighting its importance for international trade and border security. The Sandwich Street Rehabilitation Project, part of the Community Benefits Plan, is progressing on schedule. Residents have expressed satisfaction with the improvements, which include wider sidewalks, bike lanes, and enhanced streetscaping. The 20 million Canadian Community Benefits Plan includes 8.1 million for aesthetics and landscaping, 
3.5 million for community safety and connections, 2.2 million for community partnerships, and 1.1 million for economic benefits. The 20 million is broken into 10 million for Canada and 10 million for the United States. Breaking these figures down into what went where is the subject for another video, if there is interest in the community to know. What we do know is the impact from the Gordie Howe Bridge will become a welcome boost for neighbourhoods next to the project, as well as southwestern Ontario and southeastern Michigan. As we approach the target opening date of September 2025, excitement is building on both sides of the border. The Gordie Howe Bridge is something our communities can be proud of. The project team remains confident in meeting this deadline, barring any unforeseen circumstances. Remember to click the notification bell so you don't miss more updates on this incredible project. Thank you for tuning into the August 22, 2024 update on the Gordie Howe International Bridge Project. Like and subscribe. This is Bob Jones and I will see you in the next video.